Good day everyone! Our topic for today is Distinguishing Simple and Compound Propositions. Simple proposition is a proposition that contains one simple subject and one simple predicate. Remember that uh, this simple subject and simple predicate are separated by, of course, a verb. It is composed of one propositional variable. When we say propositional variable, you can symbolize it using the P, Q, and R. Take note that it is composed only of one propositional variable. What about compound proposition? It is a proposition that contains two or more simple propositions. It is composed of sub-propositional variables and various connectors or logical operators. So take note of these words, connectors and logical operators. What are these connectors? It can be and, it can be if then, it can be but, it can be or, it can be if and only if, it can be yet, and many others. Let us determine now whether the given statement is a simple or a compound proposition. Number one, Luzon is an island in the Philippines. As you notice, there is no logical connector or logical operator. Therefore, this one is a simple proposition. Okay. Number two, either Mrs. Mateo or Mr. Lozano is our logic teacher. We use the word or here. This is a connector or a logical operator. Therefore, this one is a compound proposition. Okay. And what are the two sub-propositional variables? It can be Mrs. Mateo is our logic teacher and of course, Mr. Lozano is our logic teacher. How do you write it? So this is P. Mrs. Mateo is our logic teacher. And the other one can be Q. Mr. Lozano is our logic teacher. Okay. So, what about number three? Number three, two is even and prime. So, we use again the connector N. Therefore, this one is a compound proposition. And the two sub-propositional variables are two is even. I will be using Q. Two is even. And of course, the other one are 2 is prime. Let us go to number 4. Number 4. Math is logic and computation. So, again, we use the connector end. Therefore, this one is a compound proposition. So what are the two propositional variables here? We have math is logic. Let us use Q. Math is logic. And the other one is R. Math is computation. Okay. So let us go to number five. If you are a grade 11 student, then you are a Filipino. We use the connector if then. So therefore, again, this one is a compound proposition. And what are the two propositional variables here? Let us use Q. So, Emily is a grade 11 student. R. She is a Filipino. Okay. So this one is a compound proposition and these are the two sub-propositional variables. Number six. 
Jose Rizal is our national hero. So, there is only one simple subject and one simple predicate. Therefore, this one is a simple proposition. Example number seven. Tomorrow is Tuesday. So, this one is a simple proposition because we cannot see any connector and there is only one simple subject and one simple predicate number eight either one is an even or four is not a perfect square so in this case we have either or as connectors therefore this one is a compound proposition okay and what are the two propositional variables we have p Let's use P. So 1 is even. And Q, 4 is not a perfect square. Okay, let us go to number 9. Number 9, 3 plus 2 equals 5. This one is a simple proposition. Okay, so what is the verb here? 3 plus 2 equals 5. This one is the verb. Simple subject and simple predicate. What? Number 10. If papaya is a good source of vitamin A and banana is a good source of calcium, then people who are at risk of vitamin A deficiency and who have weak bones should eat this fruits often. So this one is a compound proposition. Why? Take note, we use here the connector and, and then, then, and, and again. There are four sub-propositional variables. And what are these? Let us use P. The first one is papaya is a good source of vitamin A. And then Q. Let us use Q. Banana. is a good source source of calcium okay and then what about the third the third one is r people who are at risk Of vitamin A should eat papaya often. And of course, the last one I will be using is people who are at risk. Um, calcium deficiency should it banana you have to put here deficiency 